Like many South Dakotans, I'm frustrated with how certain states handle their elections. And in the weeks following the 2020 election, I supported the president's right to his day in court. Those legal challenges were filed in dozens of state and federal courts, but failed to overturn any votes. Now, this Constitution is more important than my personal political views or my political popularity. There is no constitutional basis for Congress to substitute its judgment for that of the states and courts. There's only one sentence in the Constitution that addresses Congress's role on January 6th. It states, the President of the Senate shall, in the presence of the Senate and the House of Representatives, open all the certificates and the votes shall then be counted. The only person performing an official act is the President of the Senate who counts the votes. Other than being present, there is no constitutional role for Congress. Congress is instructed to act as witness, not judge. I cannot seize powers not legally provided to me. That is tyranny. Our state would raise hell if the Nancy Pelosi-controlled House overturned South Dakota's election results for President Trump. Our founders knew well the grave risks associated with concentrating power in Washington, D.C., especially the power to select our president. They placed that power with the states. And just as I would resolutely defend the results of South Dakota's elections from federal interference, I cannot overturn the legally certified election results of another state and its voters. Now, of course, I want to have a conversation with South Dakota about this vote. I want to understand where you're coming from, and I want you to understand where I'm coming from. And so we're going to have a statewide, toll-free telephone town hall on Thursday night. We'll start at 7 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Mountain. If you want to participate, the call-in number is 833-946-1543. I look forward to talking with you.